Third, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we sing this song. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. It's coming up. It's coming up. Now it's come to 50 percent. Can you can you feel that? Yeah. I want it to reach 100 percent. Not for me. For Jesus and for you. Because you, my my work is making you meet, come close to Jesus, and then from there I move out, and you and Jesus. I look at that only. Why are we here? We are just here to help you to come closer to Jesus and build that relation, help you to connect, and our work is over. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So if he is here, 
if you are not connected, you want to leave with joy. The Wi-Fi signal is here. The church has a Wi-Fi signal. And but if I am not connected, I am not using the benefit. The same way, the presence of God is here. If I don't connect, I am not enjoying, I am not receiving the joy. The joy, not happiness, the joy that the Lord gives. And once you receive that joy, you will never ever be sad. You will never ever be sad. But you will be sad if you receive happiness. Is it? So nicely he made us sing. I was so happy. But you are not joyful. But when you are praising God truly, that joy comes from heaven and comes into your heart. No matter what is your situation, that peace of Christ, the joy comes flowing into you. Praise the Lord. So one song we will be singing, and this time I am not going to stop. The choice is yours. The choice, the decision is yours. You choose to celebrate. You choose to connect with Jesus. At least with a smile, if you are little conscious about people, close your eyes, but smile and sing it. Keep Jesus in your before your eyes. Or look at Jesus. There is a statue here. You say it up. Is there? Just look at Jesus and you're singing for Jesus. Lord, this is the day that you have made. You have called me here. And it is your plan that you have brought me here. And hundred percent I know there is a reward for me. This day won't go waste. And when you make that decision, you receive. Hallelujah. So let's sing this song together. Smiling, telling our brothers and sisters around us, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. Come on. This is the day that the Lord has made. Beautiful. We will. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. This is the day that the Lord.
power of God is flowing. The healing is taking place, deliverances are taking place. Only if you connect. Just relax in the presence of God. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Father, your peace that is flowing, your joy that is flowing in this house and the people. Thank you, Lord, for every infirmities have been destroyed, every bondages have been broken, every sickness have been killed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your healing, your grace, your love, your mercy is flowing. For Heavenly Father, for we just want to love you. We just want to tell you thank you for all that you have done, Lord. Even if we are not worthy at all, but still, you love us so much. Oh Lord, how much you love us. And even what we give you, Lord, is nothing. We have nothing to give you. All the gold, the silver, everything in this world belongs to you. But Lord, here I am. I offer you my heart. I offer you my words and my time. And I say, Lord, I love you. I am grateful and I thank you, Lord, for all you have done and all that you are doing, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for teaching all of us, equipping us all. These three days, this journey is going to be a supernatural journey. Lord, thank you that you are raising up mighty warriors from here. You are teaching them your truth. Lives are being changed, families are being destroyed, relationships are being destroyed. People in bondage are being set free. Thank you Lord, there is a revival going on in this place in Calcutta and the whole of West Bengal and India. Thank you Lord, for your spirit is moving mightily and your kingdom is being established. Thank you Lord, thank you Father. And all God's people said, Amen. And all God's people said, Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Please be seated. Okay, you come to heaven. First of all, do I know you? No. Many people think this is a fixing. I do not know her. I am seeing her the first time. That's right. Can you tell me what happened? I don't know. I was just singing and praising God. Suddenly, my body started moving. Uh, are you coming here alone? Any family member over here? No, I I came here alone, but my friends are here. Okay. So, it is not your nature to come out and dance. No. You are very... Actually, I am a very reserved person, as you have seen me. Yes. Even the answer I know, but I cannot... And I have the fear of audience. You know what you call it. All you have stage fight. fight. The Lord has set us set her free. You've seen her dancing. As I told you, it is not her dancing. As David leaped with joy, that is what we saw right now physically with our eyes. And the sickness that she had. Can you check? And can you do a thing that you could not do right now? It is you are already healed. Check out. Um I can do everything only when I bend too long, when I get up, I can't get up fast. Okay. No. So the same that you should like this as you Yeah. Just check it. Do it. Do something. And check. Yeah, do completely. You are free to check. Doctor says you are healed. So you need to check my the our heavenly father, heavenly doctor has healed you completely. And it is now to glorify God and show God's glory before people. Come on, do something that you could not do. You want to kneel or you want to bend down, you can do that. Watch check. Right, left. Wow, so I cannot touch my toes. Now I can touch. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She could not touch her toes. Maybe it is much of me. But see now, I can touch it. Oh, okay. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That's the joy that is flowing. 
and healing. As I told you, we don't require you, brother, sister, father to come and lay hands. During the praise and worship, when you are connecting with Jesus, you receive. And when you act, when he says rejoice, and you choose to rejoice, you choose to rejoice, you receive what is yours. Till you don't choose, and you are ready, you are stubborn enough to sit down there and wonder how is things going to happen, nothing will happen. But when you choose what God says, if He's told me to stand, I will stand. If He told me to kneel, I will kneel. If He told me to go and stand near the altar, I will go. And when you do that, you obey His word, you receive what He says. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, was, I was thinking the Holy Spirit is going to heal her, which was already healed that day. We could see the glory end of the retreat, end of the preaching session. session. But during the present worship, the Lord says, call her. And we saw what happened. So, your time can come anytime. Your moment of healing is, we do not know when. If you are attentive, many of you already have received. Is there anybody who can testify right now? Come on. Come, 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 come. Sister, can you go? Thank you. Your name? Lillian. How many years you had this? Uh, maybe 4-5 years. 4-5 oh, years. It was not 4-5 oh, months, okay? Many will think that 4-5 oh, months, that is enough. But 4-5 oh, years. And we will see 18, 15, that also being destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. Yeah. It's a severe back problem. How many years? How many years? 5 or 6 years. But uh, today I had a severe one. I was unable to move. But I made it and I said, well, I am going to go. So? I, I was unable to come, but I had made up my mind to come. And I had come and I have surrendered myself to our Lord Jesus Christ. See, listen to this carefully. I made up my mind. I made the choice. Your decision will lead to your miracle or to your destruction. So what decision I am making, you will receive. Praise the Lord. She made the decision and okay, now you do, can you do something that we to have hurt you for the glory of God. So that everybody knows that Jesus has healed you. Sit, sit. Bindas, the free. Praise the Lord. But I did not see the expression, I saw the expression. Something from osteoarthritis. But now I am relieved and I have completely healed. That arthritis is destroyed, it's not going to come back. And if, even if you feel some kind of pain, we will teach you how to destroy that thought or that pain. Okay? Be attentive during the session as our brother right now is going to take over. So, your name is sister? Antonia Rosette. Antonia, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, this is what I was talking about. Many will come, not judging them, not judging them or condemning them. They fail to show God's glory. And when our, our children go for retreats and they don't find something, is God real? And when they see things happening like this, oh, you know, we have so many youths coming for our centers now in Goa and Bombay also people. So many youths are getting hooked up because they can see the living God and the mighty works of Jesus. So I request you, if you are family members, if there is a child or a youth, even small child, you get them, let them come for this retreat. Maybe they are playing running around also. Let them be here. Because you know, there was this a real testimony. There was a small child, maybe not a senior junior, right? LKG or UKG. The child in the school, the teacher said, I have a stomach pain, so you all sit down. Okay? The child goes to the teacher and says, Teacher, can I pray for you? And the teacher thought, Oh, he's an innocent child. So okay, come pray to just to keep him happy, pray. The child just went and touched the teacher's stomach and said, In the name of Jesus, be healed. And the pain, get out. And the teacher was healed completely that moment. And the teacher was shocked. And the teacher did not tell anything to the child. What did she will say? She called the parent and said, This is what happened. Where are you going? What are you teaching your child? Then the parent realized that my child is coming for retreat and behind is doing coloring and painting. We 
Yeah. She thought that the child is playing around. But she did not know that the child is also listening and observing things happening. And the child went and did the same thing. So don't think if a child is coming and running around or not doing anything, he is attentive. And he, he they, these children go and practice. We might teach you, you will practice after 10 years. I know nobody will do that. In fact, I am just talking out of it. I believe that everybody will start performing and start going out the very next day. Praise the Lord. But the children go and do it. So that's why I request you, if your child is a small baby also, okay? Or in first and second and fifth and tenth and or a youth, request him. Tell, tell the Lord before, Lord, I want my child to come for the retreat. Lord, please let him come. Please bring him. And when you prepare the way, when you go and ask, can you come with me? The Lord will bring him here. If you try to force him, I am going, come on, let's go. He won't come. But tell the Lord, the Lord will bring him. Your child is in control with you. So get him and come. Let him be sitting here. But he will observe. The seat that will go in will surely transform him. And he will see the glory of God. And he will know who is he following. I never knew Jesus. I, I did not see God's power. I did not see God's... Uh, all this thing that I am seeing and doing. I did not see all this thing. But I love Jesus. I followed Jesus. I had a desire to serve God. So that hooked me into Jesus. But when I became a born again Catholic, born again Catholic, I'm talking about born again, not born again group. Because Jesus says, unless you are not born again, you know what is born again? We are all Christian, but nobody is born again. Yeah, sister said, renewed in the spirit, we baptize in the spirit. We are all baptized in the holy water. Some of you received a confirmation also. Confirmation, the Holy, the Holy Spirit anointing is there, but we are not yet born again. Until you are not born again, you don't enjoy the supernatural realm. You don't get connected with supernatural things. So we need to be born again. And if you are there for all three days, 100% everyone will be born again. By the end of the retreat, we will be teaching you how to speak in tongues. These tongues are not for the protestants that we hallelujah, praise the Lord and Faraba Kerala. They speak all these things. That is not that they are different groups. This is very much Catholic. Hello? This is very much Catholic. If you think that this is not Catholic, then you are reading wrong Bible. Because every Bible speaks about speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues is very much a Catholic teaching. And every believer, a Christian, a Catholic, needs to do what Jesus says. If you are a believer, you shall pick up soap and nothing will harm you. You shall drink any poisonous drink that will not harm you. Even they shall speak in your tongue. They will go lay hand on the sick and the sick shall recover. These are the things that you are going to do. That is, we have to do, not going to do or need to do. It is a command and compulsory work for every Christian. And when we started doing this, we see God's, as you see, nobody prayed over her. We just tell you what to do and you do it, you receive your healing. The same way when brother is going to come here, he is going to teach you and tell you what to do and you do it, you see many of you getting breakthrough. Not only physical healing, even spiritual or even any kind of bondage being set free. Praise the Lord. Praise so Lord. now are you excited? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Yes. So now our brother Linton is going to come, he is going to speak to you, going to teach you something that the Holy Spirit wants to speak to you. So those, again I push those who have the book or phone, take down the scriptures because these scriptures is going to change your life. Because Jesus did not say, if the preacher sets you free, you are free. Yeah? Hello? If the preacher sets you free, you are free indeed. Who? If the son sets you free, you are free indeed. And you shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. The truth that is going to be preached. I taught you, I was telling you a bit, bit of truth. Here and there, here and there. And you received it and you set free. Right now we are going to learn in little depth. And if you receive that, your life will be amazing. Praise the Lord. Praise so are you excited? Yes. A little bit. Praise the Lord. So let's clap and thank Jesus for this wonderful time that we are having and we are continuing time.